Where am I? Is this a dream? Not quite, Murphy. Then you're the... the big P.I. in the sky? That's right, Murphy. But now is not the time for you to be here. There is a vast and malignant evil at work on the Earth, and fate, for some reason that even I cannot fathom, has chosen you to oppose it. But why me? I'm no more thrilled about it than you are. Nevertheless, your fate has been decided. My name's Tex Murphy. I'm a small-time private investigator in the big city of New San Francisco. But my office isn't in the glamour districts. It's in the run-down, mutant part of the city, close to Coit Tower. A place they've been refurbishing for years, but it never seems to improve. Not exactly great for business, but it holds a strange attraction for me. I've cracked some pretty big cases over the years. You may even have heard of me. But I don't do much investigating anymore. These days, I'm known for being a man who gets things done, no matter what the cost. You got a job that pays? I'll do it. No questions asked. I can't really remember why I became a P.I. Maybe I was drawn to the romance, adventure, and independence it offered. Or maybe because I believed in its code of honor. That a man can remain untarnished as others sink into a cesspool of lies, corruption, and greed. A man better than the world around him. Even a set of principles can slowly slip from your grasp. The world has a way of beating you into submission. Circumstances change. The guilty aren't always punished. Temptations become obsessions, and love can be violently taken, leaving you empty and hollow. Each day, innocence fades, and your character weakens. And that's not all at once, but a piece at a time until you can't be put back together again. You finally realize the only way to get ahead in this world is to make sure you're on the winning side and then do anything you can to stay alive. I don't know why I'm so reflective tonight. Maybe I finally crossed the Rubicon, but that's not true either. I passed that sign miles back and didn't even pause to take a picture. Maybe I just feel extra guilty tonight for what I'm about to do. never agreed to do something this despicable. I can't explain why I do this. Maybe G 
Judas would understand. I think we got him. Let's get out of here. You over here. Finally, what was all that commotion outside anyway? Howza, you really got a hit on the head. Remember me, your old pal Huck? Seriously, you look clueless. Uh, who or what are you? Geez, how hard did you hit your head? Well, let me reintroduce myself. I'm your smart Alex, your personal assistant, version 1.5, fashioned three years ago in a factory with truly horrible working conditions. <laughs> you don't want to know. I'm your trusty tech-savvy sidekick, whose primary functions include travel agent, inventory tracking and analysis, investigative advice, case notes, and I'm also a confidant and a best buddy, you gigantic oaf. Remember? Not really. Would you like a tutorial on my usage? You really lax. You really lax. What on earth is this amount of cash doing in my office? If someone was trying to hire me to do something, it probably wasn't legal. I better put this away until I know exactly why it's here. You really lax. You really lax. Oh boy. Thanks. It's a note from my old friend Archie Ellis. Apparently he's out of town doing some research. When he returns, I'll need to ask him about the case we're working on. Well, it's another Mike and I Hammer candy comic, Key Lime Largo. Enigma. <laughs> Sounds like the story of my life. But why would I be researching this? It's one of my business cards, but it looks different. When did I change these? <laughs> this looks interesting. Probably a book on how to map out fun spots to visit inside your brain. Blue's always useful. An article on the Russian white movement? Am I truly so bored I'm reading Russian history? Oh man, this record's broken in two. We have a winner! Ah, my old trusty Victrola still seems the same. Plays my 78s.
Looks like somebody's wiped my computer clean. Ah, the Colonel. He was my first real mentor in the PI business, and here he is giving me a helpful tip. Because apparently you never learned the first rule of a PI. And never, ever betray your friends. Now, friendship goes beyond blood and race and politics. You gotta find out who your friends are, then you hold on to them. I always get the chill of fear down my spine whenever I think of him. Archie Ellis wrote a book? I bet this sells for pennies on eBay. What's up with the bed? Looks like it's for a Lothario instead of some hard-working down-on-his-luck P.I. Am I going crazy here? Footrest. Picked it up at a government warehouse sale years back. But I've never had the nerve to open it all the way. The door to my back storage room is locked. That's strange. Well, I had this door permanently sealed as it opened directly into my bedroom. People thought that was awfully presumptuous of me. Yeah, San Francisco looks way different now. Ah, that was for my first jackalope hunt. And it's a sitting room. Good for sitting. Whoa. I've never seen this much money in my life. If this is my money, what were they paying me for? Yeah, I remember years ago, I was finishing up the latest Mike and Ike Candy Kids adventure, and I realized I devoured several chapters, and it wasn't agreeing with me. I could feel my stomach churning like a volcano, and I realized I wasn't going to make it to the bathroom. Oh, what the, I'll get you, Miffy, if he's the last thing I do. Yeah, it's kind of been a sore spot in our relationship ever since. My indispensable water cooler still doesn't have paper cups. Yeah, he must have made the custodial staff really, really angry. Hmm, no messages on the vid phone. My camera books are great, but I prefer stories about his crazy nephews, Mike and I camera. I try to collect all their candy comics. One of my golf partners. Old Bogey, we call him. <laughs> it's my Gene Autry fake book. Whenever I'm feeling low, I can sing the songs of my hero. Resort? Sounds like an upscale condo community. <laughs> Definitely not something I'm interested in. Oh, my decoder ring. Whoa, this melted chocolate bar's been in here for a while. <laughs> chocolate always reminds me of Clint, one of the residents at Chandler Avenue. This isn't a good time for a social call, punk. If I don't get a fix soon, I'll go insane! Dory me pops a lot to do! What do you mean, go insane? Seems to me you're already there. How do you get lost before I eat that chocolate colored hat of yours? P.I. rules are for sissies. I've been able to achieve a certain level of success ignoring all the rules of my business.
Well, this happened on my first case. I was in the shootout of my life at the warehouse district. <laughs> I took a bullet, and while I was recovering, I swore I was always going to use my brains before brawn. The Ritz is the fire trap I call home. So, it wasn't a horrible dream. There are gun shell casings and a shot out window above the electronic shop. I know I'm involved, but how? I should investigate the area and then find out if anybody else heard the commotion. Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. It's an empty vial. This photo was taken from the top floor of the electronic shop. Who's over there spying on me? Whoa, it's a picture of me at my office. Someone's been spying on me from the top floor of the electronic shop. of the electronic shop. I'm no detective, but you need to find a way to get up to the second floor of the electronic shop. You know, like a ladder. He's injected himself. I don't care. Drag him into the speeder. I think someone was getting abducted. It's the Wardenclyffe Tower, a Nikola Tesla invention. It's the Wardenclyffe Tower, a Nikola Tesla invention. I have the strangest feeling this is related to a case I was working on. Where's he shooting from? Look, 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 the top window! I just shut out our headlight! Remember speeder headlights coming down the alleyway. Motor oil, the secret ingredient to Louis' Armageddon blend. Louis is usually up at this time. I should ask him if he heard anything. It looks like the dumpster escaped unscathed. Another Mike and Ike hammer. Candy cane confidential. Looks like Louie at the Bruin Stew is preparing to open up shop. You should go talk to him. Maybe he heard something. That's a Mike and Ike Hammer Candy comic, The Sweet and Sour Lady. I'll put this in my comic book rack back at the office. I'm here to see my pal Louie, but I see a pretty brunette at the counter. I have the feeling she recognizes me, but I have no idea who she is. Well, hello, stranger. This totally feels like a dream. That has got to be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Just for that, I'm gonna get you some coffee. I like it like my heart. Black? Nope. Super sweet and loaded with cholesterol. Is that black?
What? Ow. Oh, hush. Ow. We don't pick in fights again. Uh, I don't know what happened, but you look pretty incredible in a nurse's outfit. Mm, you do, huh? You in the mood for a little role playing? Who do you think you are? Mr. Tall, blonde, and fluffy. Well, I'm Tex Murphy. I'm a private investigator. I am 39 ish. And I uh, live at the Ritz Hotel. No, 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 no. Let me show you how to do it. I'm Taylor, and I'll be your nurse. I recommend two aspirin and lots and lots of bed rest. Maybe all afternoon long. You know, it's so weird because it's almost like we already know each other. Now you're getting it. Now, if I can just teach you to start calling me. Oh, geez, I'm late. I got a new extension at work. I'll send it to your smart Alex. Please, go see Dr. Donahue at the North Hill Clinic. Call me after and tell me what she says about that noggin of yours. See you, Uncle Louie. Uh, see you, Taylor. Uh, Mr. Murphy, what are you doing here? Mr. Murphy, come on, Louie. What happened to Moy? Is this something I can do for you? Because if not, I've got stuff to do in the back. Why are you acting mad at me? You know why. You drunk again? I told you. You ain't allowed in here. You've been drinking. Stone cold sober. Other than my head, I feel totally normal. It's everything else that's weird. What happened to your head? I don't know. I woke up on the fire escape. I go into my apartment and everything is different. The street, Chelsea's newsstand, you, everything is completely different. I mean, I don't know whether I'm tripping here or having a bad dream or something. What's the last thing you remember uh, before you woke up? Uh, I don't know, but something with Chelsea. Chelsea? What day do you think it is? No, hold on. What year do you think it is? <sighs> what year? Are you serious? It's 2043. Oh, jeez. Look at that calendar. Over there, on the fridge. 50. What the hell's going on here? Last night, Chelsea and I went to the Golden Pagoda. I think the wording was uh, very, very attractive. Oh, no! What? It's me. Look, somebody has stolen our car. I mean, here I am. My speeder's stolen out here. I'm sitting on a great... Oh, ah! Oi, uh, would you guys like a lift to the cop shop? No, we'll walk. He's really just trying to do us a favor. Chelsea and I have a really bad feeling about this. It's like some sort of deja vu. The Fabergé World Tour Portugal. The most exotic and exquisite exhibit of the day. Who's your mate? The oh, that's Tex. He's having a very bad day. That true, Tex? Oh, no. Everything's just going peachy. Well, things could get worse, huh? He shot me. He, he shot both of us. He shot me. There's nothing. Why is there anything? That's what I'm trying to tell you, Mike. It wasn't last night. It was seven years ago. What the hell is that? Looks like you got injected with something. Maybe that's what's messing with your head. 
Well, maybe it's that goose egg. Either way, buddy, you gotta see a doctor. What about Chelsea? Where is she? I mean, is she okay? You said to never say nothing about her. Never again. You heard those gunshots? I also heard somebody got abducted, just like Chelsea and I were. Me losing my memory, that's just too much of a coincidence. I better go check them out. I called the cops already. You want to find something, you, you better get a move on before they get here. Yeah, those gunshots we heard have to be connected to me. I'd better get out there and investigate before the cops get here. Mike, you really need to see a doctor. You can't drive in this condition. I'll call a cab. I'll have them wait till you're ready to go. It sure is good to have the old mice back. I don't want to get all mushy, but I missed you, Mike. We don't get too much of that stuff around here anymore. Cops have been good about cleaning things up. I got no idea who would have been doing the shooting or getting taken. Clint's done a real nice job, don't you think? Good to see the neighborhood getting fixed up. I don't got a ladder. You might want to check at the Golden Gate Hotel. They've been doing a bunch of renovations. I, I like that Archie fella. Real friendly. Don't always understand what he's talking about, but hey. Different strokes for different folks, right? Yeah, nice to have some fresh blood here on Chandler Avenue. Not really the kind of place I do a lot of shopping at, but uh, some folks seem to like it fine. You know, I love Chelsea like she was my own daughter. I, I still miss her. Even after all this time. I forget. You don't remember nothing about Taylor. She works for the Bay City Mirror. Does a lot of investigations. And she's a real peach. Sweet. Smart. Funny. I wasn't too happy that you and her were spending time together. But maybe she wasn't seeing through all that tough guy stuff. She's good that way. Oh, me? I'm just the same as always. Just a little less of me than I used to be. I wish I could tell you everything you can't remember. But I don't know much. You and Chelsea went missing, and then you showed up out of nowhere a few weeks later. A couple of days after, you was gone again. I only saw you a few times after that. A couple of years went by, and then you came back, and something bad had happened to you. I don't know what, but it made you hard and mean, and you just got worse. You got to where I didn't even want you around anymore. can't go to the North Hill Clinic. Not now. I need to investigate the crime scene to find out what happened before the police arrive. I'm pretty sure every one of your cases involves the Snow White Warehouse somehow.
this place really has been renovated. I guess that dumbbell Ardo must have come into some money. But as I walk to the counter, I suspect this place is under new management. Welcome. Welcome to the Golden Gate Hotel. How can I help you? Mr. Murphy? Did you know Ardo, the guy who worked here before? I wonder what ever happened to that big, lovable moron. Ardo Newpop, California State Senator. Ran on a fire safety platform. Well, it's sure a lot nicer than when Arda was here. Call me Tex, by the way. No, thank you. The last time I tried that, you were all... I'm a professional. You should be treated as such. There's some self righteous <laughs> baloney like that. Management heard about it, and I didn't get any time off for a month. And that was supposed to be me? How do you know so much about me, anyway? Unlike you tangibles, we have computer brains. Well, you holograms certainly have a lot more attitude these days. I usually have to get to know a woman's first name before she'll treat me like this. You know very well who I am. Polygram, cute, right? You tangibles just can't resist a pun. <laughs> so what's with that sign? Holograms are people too. <laughs> so you can read. It's for the hologram rights movement. I hate to tell you this, but holograms aren't people. And I had to know because I've dated a few. That's exactly what they used to say about minorities, women, and mutants. It's our turn now. I'm officially on strike. Well, more battery power to you. Really? You're the last person I thought I'd hear that from. Everyone in this neighborhood's afraid of you, you know. I think your file on me might be corrupted. Mind if I ask a few diagnostic questions? Sure. Though I should warn you, I don't get out much. Now that I know you support the hologram rights movement, I may have to reevaluate my opinion of you. I heard gunshots, and then the speeder came flying out and took off. Well, it's no Golden Gate Hotel, is it? We keep everything like that over at the Snow White Warehouse. I think he came in one time with Mojo, the kid from the barbecue place. It was... awkward. Taylor's my bestie. My real friend. I don't know what she's doing with you. The nicest tangible I've ever met. Oh, you know me. Just a hologram. Here to serve my tangible oppressors. I've heard they keep a key or something to get inside the warehouse by the door. I should look around the hotel lobby and see if there's anything here that could help me out. <laughs> 